from local high school students that are competing to create solutions. We need more of this. They are now headed to the Aspen Ideas Festival. Team Leo is in the house, joining us this morning from the San Diego School of Creative and Performing Arts. Ladies, good morning to all of you. Look at this uh, all-star cast we have. We have, here we go, Kara Teschner, school counselor, Aspen Challenge coach, S-D-S-C-P-A. See, I have to do it like an announcer. Uh, we have Jenna Teschner, what a coincidence, same last name. Uh, and Angel Twasson. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Sir. Uh, good morning to all of you. We did all our shaking, getting <laughs> nerves out exercises. Like, let's see. Okay, you kind of look like that. Uh, first of all, uh, Kara, it's yes. your daughter, right? Yes. See, I, see how I, that's why I have this job. See, I made that connection. <laughs> what is this event? Because we were talking earlier. It's like, I don't think I've ever heard of this. So explain to the people what this is. Well, this is an amazing opportunity yeah. that happened. Um, that happens every single year. Jeff Bezos and the Aspen Institute. Oh, well chooses a school in the United States. Last year was Brooklyn, New York. They've done it in Florida. They've done it in New Orleans. And this year, San Diego Unified hit the jackpot and got the call. And our superintendent said, absolutely, sign us up. And we did. So our students, they, the community comes up with solutions that they would like, that, or some um, challenges that the students, the, the community wants the sure. students to find a solution to. And that's what we did. So, so there's an issue, there's a problem, and it's basically like, let's figure out how, how do we solve these problems? What kind of problems were they talking? Before we get to the ideas here, what kind of problems are we talking about? Like global warming, or are we talking about things within your school, or, or what does that mean? Um, they gave us a variety, so they gave us five different challenges to choose from. One was um, unhoused families, one was um, chronic absenteeism, mental mm, health, okay. we had reducing single-use plastics and the fifth one immigration oh, oh immigration i mean those are pretty heavy subjects i mean we're, we're talking about that on the news almost every single day and sometimes young people have great solutions to things that grown folk you know the older people say like, we can't think past our our previous ideas Let, let's uh jenna first you're up first um tell me team leo stands for learning excellence outreach by the way what problem, did you guys work on the same problem or did you guys have different problems to, yeah. to tackle? So we were all on one team and we okay. chose the challenge of chronic absenteeism. In schools, which, yes. is that still a thing? Because you know, I almost had perfect attendance. <laughs> I, I missed maybe one or two days, but you know, then again. How do you, how big is that problem for people who may not know and then how do you solve it? At our school, personally, like there was about 9% of our student population is chronically absent and like yeah. being chronically oh, absent, wow. it's if you're absent more than 10% of the school year. And it's actually more common than you might think. Why is that, you think? Um, I think for ours, when we interviewed, it was mostly because of transportation and mental health I issues. See. Oh, wow. So students either can't get to school or there are other issues that are much bigger than you just have a test and you want to kind of ditch, right? It's not as simple as in the old days. So how do you sit down a, a bunch of kids and say, you know what, this is the problem. Fix it. The brainstorming ideas must be something of pretty incredible. How does that process work? Well, my co-coach and I brought our team of eight together and we discussed all five challenges that were okay. submitted to us and then our team, our group, chose to combat chronic absenteeism because our school is a arts magnet school for San Diego Unified mm -hmm. and we serve over 90 zip codes. So we have students coming from all over. All over, really, yeah. All over. And originally the students thought, oh, let's incentive, incentivize our students to come to school and they were reaching out to local businesses to try to get gift cards and things to have kids come to, to school. But then when they did their one-to-one -one empathy interviews, they discovered the students want to come to school, they just can't get to school. Wow. So. Okay, so back to the kids. Talk to me. What was the solution that you guys ended up saying, this is what we're going to do, this is how we're going to solve the problem? Yeah. So um, as we said earlier, like, it's a multifaceted issue. So there was transportation and there was mental health. So we did different things for both. So for transportation, we launched a district-wide bus campaign because like as Ms. Tesher mentioned, wow. we, our school is an arts magnet school and we serve over 90 zip codes. So our school used to have 22 buses, but now there are only five. So our bus campaign's oh. goal was to build those buses back up to get all of our students from all right. of our zip codes coming to school. So we, made, we engaged like about 200 of, our, 200 of our students to make artwork, PSAs, and petitions that went to the district. And so hopefully 
we'll get a bus and we've gone to a board meeting and we met with the transportation director and it's all looking pretty good. I mean, yes. you guys are already doing a lot of the work that needs to be done. That's what like grown-ups are supposed to be doing. But you, <laughs> I mean, when you go to this festival in Aspen, how do you present your solutions to the problem and then eventually what the goal is to get one bus, two bus? How does that yeah. even work when you get there? Um, we want, we hopefully might get donations possibly sure. for money um, to make our solution a reality and we also contacted for our mental health portion of our pillar we wanted to do um, we contacted three different universities Grand Canyon SCSU and UCSD wow. and we securely fund a wellness week for UCSD as well I mean what <laughs> I mean, this is this is impressive this is really what it's all about it's, by the way I heard this Jeff Bezos guy he's got some money He's got some money, so you know maybe if he likes the idea, he can uh, help you guys out a little bit. All right, Team Leo, we thank you guys for coming here. Keep up the good work. You know, there's so many problems in the world, so it's good to see that the young people are kind of getting involved and trying to solve some of the problems we have. So thank you both. Good luck. In, when are you going, by the way? The last week of June. June 23rd. Fun. Yes. Good luck. Let us know how it goes. Thank All right. you. Thank Congratulations you. to you guys. Thanks. And we will be talking, by the way, to the team from Madison High School in just a few minutes for the Aspen Ideas Festival. Keep it here. We'll be right back.